I'm here with Bo uh, Berman. Hi, Bo. So you uh, you play uh, music songs and do the jokes. What, what's that like? Um, Bo is a cool name. Uh, is that short for Bono? So I, I saw you walking around campus earlier. You. Yeah, I did. Oh, sorry, this for the news. Yeah, I saw you walking around. You were reading a book, and you were blending in very well. Uh, and so, like, do you ever wish you went to college? I wish I could read, because then I'd feel less dumb with the book. I mean, genuinely, like, holding a coffee cup and just looking like I'm from planet Earth <laughs> was, like, enough of a challenge. <laughs> no. Because, no, but truly, I mean, like... <laughs> She's like truly a master, you know what I mean? And like, I would like really be marveling at just like very specific stuff because the difficult like little things of acting are so di just like to do the most simple act of business and to sort of integrate it. And meanwhile, I'm like eating a French fry, being like, D I mean, do I even look like I have human DNA at this point? Um, <laughs> but you know what I mean? So just really like, I don't know. The whole thing was difficult, but it was like it was a good environment to. Uh, <laughs> but I, I find I'm just saying I'm find sometimes the smallest yeah, yeah, things yeah. in acting are actually the most difficult. The scene that seems the most casual, yeah. where you're doing it's it's hard it's hard to do nothing on camera, mm -hmm. but I succeeded. <laughs> <laughs> on your website, it says that you're going to die on January seventeenth, two thousand twenty-four. Mm. How do you have such insight? I would kill myself. Because my dog's gonna die, who I just got, and I love him more than anything. And when he goes, I have to go. Oh, okay. So you you just estimated when he's gonna die. He has a a small bomb in him. Oh, all right. For that day. What kind of dog is he? He's a bomberanian. <laughs> That's right. It's right. Yeah. But it actually, did help. It was something I remember in my when I went to audition. I did like my first take, and Emerald was like that's really good. Like, yes, like Ryan should be very nervous around her. And I'm like, yeah, that's a choice I'm making. That's, that's a conscious choice I'm making right now. I think the media is, you know, terrible to women and anyone that's not me. You know, anyone that's not like, a, that's that opening song, like straight white male, you know, like that's what I think. And that's, that song is, I wrote that song because I just think it's so funny, these straight white men that are coming out and like, you know, and these like, most of what I hear, like the men's rights activists and stuff, it's like, uh, uh, it's like funniest thing in the world where it's like, but affirmative action, what are you talking about? It's like everything else in the world is working in your favor. Everything else. <laughs> everything. A literally everything else. Can, can they have one thing? Can, can we do one thing to make other people more comfortable? It's like, it's insane. It's, it, it, and it's funny to me. You know what I mean? That actually is. That's just very ironic almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, that's what it is. It's like people not understanding something or being confused is, is funny to me. When she graduated eighth grade. A week later, we filmed the movie. And then a week after, she went to her freshman year of high school. And she didn't get cast in her school play. Really? <laughs> so, I, so I promised her I'd do this. Uh, Mr. Donia from Thousand High School, f you. <laughs> Dangren Smith writes, Hey guys, my family and I are taking a trip to the Bahamas soon. The trip is the makeup for my graduation trip last year, which was moved due to my grandmother having health issues. Thankfully, she's fine now. Here's my odd dilemma. Boy, is this a white guy question. Here we go. We are writing this. The, I mean, the privilege of your life. Oh, your 80-year-old grandmother's grandmother, fading away. She's through the woods on this Replacement one. Replacement for my graduation gift. Holy shit. We uh, took a heart from a healthy kid in, in Let a really I'm guessing poor the word Syria won't be appearing in the rest of this question. Uh, I don't think I can make, I don't think I can take my baton, the weapon kind, to the Bahamas when I go through customs. Reason being is Listen, because I feel for the kid. I my, feel for this kid. Reason being is because my family is chartering a private plane, so they will go through our luggage he very thoroughly. Off. However, I think I, be, I, 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 I think I is this real? I think I need This is such a dangren. <laughs> what a fucking dangren He's in a long man. line of dangrens. Oh my dangren the seventh. <laughs> oh my god, so many dangs. Not enough friends. However, <laughs> I think I need one while I'm in uh, while I'm in some of the areas where we'll be going. I feel that my family and myself, of course, could be in danger at times. So, Jake and Amir, my question is, and Bo, do I sneak something in my bag past customs? If so, what? Keep in mind, I'm not really a knife guy. Or B, do I <laughs> do I find something when I'm there? 
Keep in mind, it'll be in rougher areas, so maybe I can get something while I'm down there. Thanks, guys. Really love the show. Thank, uh, love, Dangren Smith. Dangren. I love. First of all, I like that he thinks there's a chance that he might be able to go out into a rough area and acquire a weapon <laughs> when he's on vacation. Um, I don't know, Bo. What do you think? This man? one's that's rough for me. <laughs> this kid sounds like a fuck, like a joke. Yeah, feel, you can lay into. I him. mean, that's I'm just the, saying, like your pram. Our goal is to not advise him on what weapon he, he can. Private. Get in. Some rich kid's worried about if he can bring his baton mm -hmm. on his private plane. Yeah. It's a very rich to, weapon to his to have in the makeup first place. Bahamas. <laughs> I, I imagine he's not going to a very rough area of the Bahamas if he's getting there on a private jet. Yeah, I, I don't think so. And if there's bad guys, I don't know what him and his baton would be able to really do. God, uh, I, I thought one of the joys of, of flying private was that they don't like. They're not like the. We well, can bring your batons. Bring yeah. your batons. Fly <laughs> private. I thought that was what it was. Yeah, wasn't that the log line? That's what. That's how they sell you on it. I'll, and I'm gonna go on a limb. This might not be kind. Hmm. I bet I bet his grandmother wasn't a good person. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying Definitely. it sounds like old white money, and I don't yeah. think the, any of that. She was the good. daughter of slave owners. I don't. I mean, she was. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard, it's hard not, to be old, too, yeah. rich, and nice. It's usually two of the. Yeah. Three. I bet her last word was something about the colored nurse. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure she didn't lift anything off my person. I'm saying this is where we She's as white men in the hospital room with a baton. Give a little self hate. Yeah. I think I always hoped that I might get the opportunity to direct, but I didn't, I really didn't dream I would get to make a movie in Hollywood with, you know, people like Carrie and Bo, who were just beyond exceptional and wonderful. How about this guy? His name is, his name is Bo. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> my, Rob, my real name's Robert. That sounds old. That's my dad's name. That's Bo. your name, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Is your name not short for Robert? My name is short for Robert. So <laughs> we did it! We did yeah. it! Yeah. So how old do you think Robert is? Hmm. Forty something. <laughs> oh my God! It's true. Uh, Robert, you are right about the something, Rob. <laughs> Bo Burnham, for so many people, was one of the first, quote-unquote, internet sensations. Yeah, Bo, Bo Burnham, for most people, was who? But yes. Um, <laughs> for some people, I was an, an internet sensation, which is a term I love. <laughs> yeah, maybe. A sensation. So, so... You know what? I was, I was... I had, like, a little... My comedy was starting at that time. Um, you know, when, when I was a senior in high school, there was a, there was a most likely to be famous, most likely to make a million dollars, most likely to be successful. I got most likely to be on a reality show. I didn't get, I didn't get most funny or anything. Like, I got a big, can we swear? Yeah, I I got a big so. fuck you from my class, too. That is awful. <laughs> that, is re that is awful and that's sexist, too. You're gonna name a best-selling memoir that one day, though. I'm did ready they have for a guy? Did they, did, did, they, did they name a guy to live with most cats? No. Oh! No, of course they didn't have a guy equivalent. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's unbelievable. That's <laughs> that is awful. That's really bad. And like, and you know what's and you know what's bad? I'm sorry to keep cutting you off. What's what's really bad is that it's it's like funny. Yeah. You know that that's actually what's being used against you in that moment. Like, take the joke. It's funny, right? No, but it's completely obliterating. Yeah. Best dressed. It's like richest. <laughs> People on the set thought I was craft service. They legitimately <laughs> did. Someone was like, are you craft? Like, I'm like, I know I look like someone that should just be like giving you brown rice, but unfortunately, like, I'm pretty high on the call sheet. <laughs> so I'd like to, <laughs> no, I mean, what I, I don't know. I think it's all, what's really cool I'll say about it, said, and I'll shut up because who cares about me, 